Let's get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single Friday. As you can see on the title, today I'm giving you a list of horror movies to watch on February. Why? Because People tend to think that horror can only be watched or enjoyed during October, aka spooky season, which is true, of course, but we can enjoy it all year long. And this is why I'm bringing you some movies that are perfect for this month, because guess what? Valentine's Day, it's coming. So if you want to know which movies are, keep on watching. A little disclaimer is that not every single movie that is on this list is precisely related to Valentine's Day, but they still have a reason that makes them worthy of being here. So let's get on it. The first movie is Hospital Massacre, also known as X-Ray. This is a 1982 slasher film and the plot follows a woman who becomes trapped on an empty floor of a hospital where a murder of Posey as a surgeon attempts to kill her. This is a cheesy slasher 80s horror movie, but I felt like it had to be on this list since it's kind of during the Valentine's Day season and I love slashers and cheesy 80s movies, so I think that this particular one should be here. Next, and this one had to be on this list, is My Bloody Valentine of 1981. This is a Canadian slasher film that follows a group of young adults who decide to throw a Valentine's Day party, but only to incur the vengeful rap of an assailant in mining gear who begins a killing spree. This film also has a remake of 2009 that it's also included on the list. So you can either watch the original or the remake and you're free to go. I love both actually. I'm not a fan of remakes and I always prefer the originals over remakes. But in this case, I don't really mind which one I'm going to watch. I don't know. This is just my preference. Next, and I think that this is the most obvious one on the list. It's Valentine. This is out 2001, also a slasher movie. And this follows our group of women in San Francisco who are stalked by a killer wearing a cupid mask. Once again, I love slashers and I think that they're kind of the perfect combination between just a regular holiday, in this case it's Valentine's Day, and bringing horror on a normal day basis. This one has a pretty good reason to be on the list and it's Happy Dead Day. This is a 2017 black comedy horror movie and follows a girl that is in college and is murdered on the night of her birthday and begins relieving the date repeatedly at which point she sets out to find the killer and stop her death. When I first watched this movie I was I don't really like comedy on horror. I I just don't. For me, it's way too stupid, although that's the whole point, but I just can't stand it. I will watch this, but I don't stand it. But in this case, this movie, it was, for me, it was good. It's not excellent, but it's actually a good movie. It has pretty good critics, and it's, it's funny. Actually, it's kind of funny, and the concept, for me, it's actually pretty good. Now, it has a sequel. It's Happy Dead Day to You. And basically, she has the same problem that she starts repeating the day of her death, but with the difference that this time the killer is not just behind her, but all her friends too. And she has to go all over again in order to find who it's the murder. And the second one was actually released on Valentine's Day. So this is why I feel that it should be on this list. Also, the mask of the killer, it's like a baby, but it kind of resembles and kind of reminds me to the one of Valentine. So I think that's a pretty good excuse to put it here on the list. Now, another black comedy horror film, it's Ride of Chucky. This is the fourth film on the Chucky franchise and this is the first one that it's completely focused on Chucky and in this case with Tiffany that it's his bride and it's a humor and it's a self-referential parody. Now I know that many people hate this movies. I know some people that love this movie so this is up to you 
but I like the first three films of Chell's Play. This one, not particularly my favorite. I think that it's okay to kind of separate from the original concept and try to do something different in order to evolve and keep doing movies in this case and keep bringing something to the fans. But I don't know. It just for me it's way too much. I mean, like I said previously, I don't pretty precisely like comedy on horror like that combination is not good for me but like i said i know people that love this type of movies so if you're one of those this one is for you now in the romance part this we have warm bodies this is out 2014 paranormal romantic zombie comedy and it's a turn of shakespeare's romeo and juliet this is about a zombie that saw this girl and his heart starts beating again but he's a zombie she's human and it's this conflict between they trying to be together and her dad it's like the leader of the survivors and they try to kill as much zombies as possible so that's kind of a big problem there it's funny it's fresh it's cheesy um i remember i went to watch this on movie theater i like it i mean it's not the type of movie oh yes i want to watch it every single day but it's a pretty good time and like it's it's a horror comedy of romeo and juliet with zombies and zombies are most on every single thing now so i don't know it's it's a really good one and as the last movie this i think it's more of a classic and it's bram stoker's dracula of 1992. this is an american gothic horror film now this is obviously based on the novel dracula by bram stoker that in this movie it stars gary oldman as count dracula and winona ryder now i think that of all the dracula's films this is my favorite I love the cast for me it's perfect I love the image that they give to Dracula Dracula it's one of my favorite monsters and I have seen every single version of it but for me this one it's on the top and it's the romance it's so dark but at the same so damn good this is a must watch for not just vampire fans but horror fans in general that love that kind of romance hint on it I don't know for me it's it's just like oh it's not that i want a romance like that but it's like oh they're so cute together yeah kind of <laughs> but i think that that's every probably someone will think differently but i love winona ryder also and every single every single thing that she does i will watch it i'm a huge fan of her especially after edward sister hands and beetlejuice so for me having her in horror related stuff it's a must and well this is all for today thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments if you will add any other movie to this list or if you have ever watched any of the movies on this list let me know in the comments your opinion and i'm going to be seeing you guys next friday bye